Hey, happy Friday to you. Welcome back to the Friday Funnies, and hopefully you made it through Halloween with no tricks and all treats. But now, Halloween is over, so please take down your decorations, huh? It's time for the Christmas lights, because America loves the holidays, and this month is filled with them. We're all familiar with uh, Veterans Day on November 11th, Thanksgiving on the 25th, and of course, Black Friday on the 26th. But are you familiar with the other holidays in November? For instance, November 14th is National Pickle Day, and the 15th is National Clean Out Your Refrigerator Day to make room for all of the pickles you bought the day before. November 19th presents us with two holidays. Whoops. Two holidays. <laughs> it's the celebration of World Toilet Day, although I really don't know how to celebrate that. And the 19th is also designated as International Men's Day. So when you combine that with Toilet Day, it means that on that day, the toilet lid will stay up all day. And I'm even going to put some cigarette butts in there for targets. I don't smoke, but I saw some outside the door of a local bar. So while I go and put those butts in a baggie, Enjoy the Friday Funnies. QAnon is the right-wing extremist organization known for believing in really stupid crap. And this week they outdid themselves when on Tuesday hundreds of Q heads showed up in Dallas except expecting to see both John F. Kennedy and his son John Jr., both of whom, by the way, are currently deceased. They waited on Dealey Plaza, but to their disappointment, neither of the men appeared. Then a spokesman for the Qs said that the Kennedys would both be at the Rolling Stones concert that evening in Dallas. Now, when Mick Jagger heard this news, he said, No bloody way! If anybody's coming back here, it's going to be Charlie Watts. There was a march in Los Angeles last week to draw attention to men with teeny weenies. It was called the Small Dong March in hopes to end the so-called shame associated with having a diminutive dingle. The men marched through the streets of LA holding signs reading, all dongs are created equal and all dongs go to heaven. The best one I saw said, my dong is not a choking hazard. Anyhow, after the march, the men returned to their oversized monster trucks and went home. It really wasn't a big deal. Friday Funnies fan Ed Garrison alerted me to this story, which has several angles. First, it has a sports angle in that it, infor it involves rather former Alabama special teams coach Jeff Banks. Then it has a sex angle because Jeff is married to a stripper who goes by the name Pole Assassin, and she even appeared on the Jerry Springer show. The story has an animal angle because Pole Assassin works with a monkey. And it has the crime angle because at a Halloween party the couple hosted the monkey bit a child. It turns out that the monkey was vaccinated and the child is okay, but I think that the key point of this story is that Pole Assassin is a great name for a stripper. That's it for another week, my friends. Thank you for joining me. Pass these along to everyone that you possibly can. And I will see you back here next Friday. <laughs>